we can't change the fact that he's no longer here. But what we can change is how his death impacts the community. A family is still fighting. Months after a criminal case was filed, Sean Neville filed a civil lawsuit in his father's death. In December, it'll be two years since John Neville died at the Forsyth County Jail. Think about that day a lot, you know, just in the days leading up to it, that it was, you know, because it was totally out of the blue. It was unexpected. According to court documents, the lawsuit demands the defendants bear the consequences of their failure to implement and abide by the appropriate policies that caused Neville's death, which the lawsuit says could have been prevented. The family is seeking at least $25,000 in damages, as well as any additional amount determined by the court. His final expenses are still out there, and, you know, I've got that bill now. Since I'm the administrator, that falls to me, you know, for his funeral expenses, for his expenses at the hospital. And even that's kind of tied our hands, because even if I wanted to let it go, now I can't. I don't have the ability because, you know, these are tens of thousands of dollars that as a family, we just we don't have lying around. Neville was in custody for a pending charge of assault on a female. He suffered a medical emergency and fell from a top bunk. An autopsy said he died from a brain injury after he was restrained. The sheriff's office later changed some of its restraint policies. And Sheriff Kimber released a statement about the civil lawsuit saying, quote, I support the Neville family as they grieve the loss of their dad. I understand this is a civil process and I cannot discuss the details, but I continue to stand on what is legal, what is moral and what is right. Let it be known. I still love the Neville family.